Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We've got a new video here for you today. We've got how to install some logos on Football Manager 2022. It's very straightforward and simple. Um, fingers crossed you just find it as easy as I found it. All you want to do is, there's a link down in the description which will bring you over to this website. It is called Sorted Out SI. This will bring you straight to this page and it'll bring you to this section here which will be the metallic logo mega pack. You can pick any of these logos. I tend to pick the metallic logo mega pack because um, the logos look the best um, by far in my opinion. So what you need for this as well, you need uTorrent. So I'll also include a link down in the description for uTorrent. Um, you don't, you're don't, not permitted to get this. Uh, would advise to get it because you can just download the full file in uTorrent. So, We'll dive straight into it. So what you want to do is hit download. <clears throat> the downloader will take it to this link here. Then you want to hit download a complete pack. So we'll hit download complete pack. Right. Then, as you can see, you can do it in all different stages. This is for any users that don't want to download uTorrent. But uTorrent is very, very safe. You can use it for um, a lot of these installations, which I'm going to be bringing out over the next few days. It gives you game a more realistic feel into it so you want to click for use using new torrent you can see there's a torrent section at the bottom here you just want to click um the metallic logos fm 2022 click on that it'll come up with this you just want to hit save file okay so we'll hit okay let's see this will go into here so if i double click on this so obviously you can click OK. So I will click OK. As you can see, I've already downloaded it. This is just this just saves the video. So at the minute, I'll just obviously delete it because I've already got it here. So then, basically, once your file is downloaded, it might take some time because it is a 6.37 gigabyte file. It is big. You want to click on it, double click on it, click continue. It will bring up this screen here. So then, what we want to do is click here. We want to click. Um, <clears throat> extract files we are going to look for a destination I just find it easier this way some other people probably recommend that you can put um, extract files to desktop and then take it to the actual destination you want to put it in but I'd rather extract the files just doing it this way it saves a lot of time so first thing we want to do is click on documents once we click on documents we want to go down to sports interactive click the little um, plus sign there then you want to click on Football Manager 2022, click that plus sign. Then there is a little section in here called Graphics, which you want to click OK on. And it'll start. Obviously, I already have them, so I'm going to cancel this. But then this will extract them all into a folder called Metallic Logos FM 2021, that it's called, because this file was made probably last year. But it, it, it's all like up-to-date logos as much as you could possibly want. I mean, it's better than what you get offered an FM. So I'm going to hit cancel, obviously, because I already have them installed. So once you have them installed, I'm jump going to jump in a game and I'll show you what you have to do in game to make sure that these load. Uh, so I'll be back in a moment and then you'll be able to see what you do next. So we're in FM now and what we're going to do is basically we're going to click on preferences. Just ignore the ugly looking manager. It was just a quick design I did. Okay, <laughs> let's forget about that. So, we'll click on preferences now. Once we're in here, um, I like to filter it by all. So, once you do that, you need to scroll down until you find um, this here. Reload skin when confirm confirming changes in preferences. Okay, make sure that is ticked. Um, you definitely make sure that that is ticked. Um, then, what you want to do is hit reload skin. So, once you click on reload skin, it'll say loading image data for the new skin. So, once this does its thing a minute there we go the skin has reloaded as soon as it is reloaded all your um logos should look a bit something like this i will show you really quick so we'll just load up a game um let's just get rid of these just so i can quickly load it in um okay click start game yes whatever it's not just for the English one, I'm just showing you this, so it loads the game up really quick. Um, it's for every league, so we'll go into here. I'm just going to set up data. I'm just, obviously, I'll skip through this part. So, here we are on the loading screen where you get to pick your team. Once you're in here, obviously, as you can see, Arsenal's logo is there. I 
Aston Villa, you've got Brentford, you've got Brighton. So all, obviously you can see all the teams are here. If I go into, for instance, the championship, all the championship teams logos are there. You want to go into League One, all the League One logos are there. You want to go down League Two, or League Two is there. Um, I think it goes down to as far as the national and maybe further. But look, south, north. Yep, all them are there. Um, going to south. There you go, they're all there. Perfect. Every single logo is there. If you get any issues, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Um, I can more than help you and point you in the right direction. Um, we're going to be bringing another video which will come out later on this week. Um, maybe this weekend. Um, it's going to basically explain how to install the face packs for Football Manager. So if you get if you're really stuck with that and you don't know how to install any other logo packs, it's very straightforward and simple. It's a massive file, so it probably will take for those with a slower internet speed. It will take a good few hours. So it's a case of leaving your computer on and just forgetting it's even there. It'll just download naturally because um, obviously um, uTorrent runs in the background, so it'll just keep downloading for you. Um, so other than that, thank you very much for tuning in today. Um, Obviously, we bring a lot more different variety of videos to the channel. I am. Um, if you are enjoying these new videos, please be sure to leave a like. Also, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. And um, it helps me out a lot knowing that there's people out there that like enjoying my content and seeing what I put out there. And um, yes, so I will see you in the next video. Thanks and goodbye.